Recycling our waste on the central coast is easy and has become a daily activity which has real benefits for the environment. When you recycle, you save energy, conserve landfill space, decrease greenhouse gas emissions and reduce pollution. Recycling closes the resources loop, ensuring valuable commodities are not landfilled. Instead, they are put back to good use, making much less impact on our environment in the remanufacturing process the second time around. Many items can be placed in your yellow lid bin for recycling, including paper and cardboard, including newspapers, magazines, junk mail, letters, envelopes, wrapping paper, fresh milk and juice cartons, cardboard boxes and packaging, metal cans, aerosol cans and foil trays, including food cans, pet food cans, coffee tins, baby formula tins, drink cans, deodorant cans, hairspray cans, cooking oil spray cans, and foil pie and barbecue trays. Rigid plastic bottles and containers, including drink bottles, sauce bottles, yogurt tubs, margarine tubs, ice cream tubs, biscuit trays, strawberry punnets, takeaway food containers, shampoo bottles, and laundry liquid bottles. Green, brown, and clear glass bottles and jars, such as beer bottles, wine bottles, sauce jars, juice bottles, jam jars, and medicine jars. Over 280,000 wheelie bins are serviced each week across the Central Coast, with most drivers emptying over 1,000 bins every day. The following steps should be followed when placing bins out for collection. Place bins on the curbside the evening before your collection, in clear view of the road. Leave a space between 50 centimetres and 1 metre between the bins. Do not overfill your bins. The lid must close properly. Ensure bins are clear of overhanging trees, mailboxes and parked vehicles. Each fortnight your recycling bin is emptied and delivered to the Materials Recovery Facility or MRF. The MRF is a large factory, the size of two football fields, where recyclables are sorted into individual commodity streams such as paper, steel, aluminium, plastic and glass. The MRF is a fast-paced factory and can sort 30 tonnes of recycling per hour. The truck tips the recyclables at the receival area tipping floor and a front-end loader moves the items onto a conveyor belt which transports the recyclables up to the pre-sort station. MRF employees, called sorters, remove large pieces of contamination such as plastic bags, clothing, disposable nappies and hazardous waste like gas bottles and car batteries by hand. Contamination is unacceptable as it can seriously compromise the health and safety of staff working at the mill. This is because the only way to remove these items is by hand. Contamination from the MRF is disposed of at landfill. Sorting screens use rotating discs which separate the recycling into three main streams by allowing plastic, steel and aluminium containers to roll down onto a conveyor belt under the screen. Flat paper and cardboard items float up over the top of the screen to a different conveyor belt whilst glass bottles and jars are broken and drop through onto a third conveyor belt. The paper and cardboard travel to the ballistic separator which uses paddles that shake out any flattened bottles, cans and containers that may be caught amongst the material. A final quality check by sorters of the paper and cardboard takes place prior to the material being sent to be baled. The automatic baler compacts the paper and cardboard and wraps wire around it to secure it in place. Recycled paper and cardboard is commonly turned into packaging, printing and writing paper, tissues, toilet paper, newsprint, egg cartons and kitty litter. Now that the majority of the paper and cardboard has been removed, the remaining items pass through a rotating glass separator drum, which breaks the glass bottles and jars into pieces. A magnet is used to remove bottle tops and small pieces of metal from the broken glass line. The glass travels through a trommel, which is a rotating screen that separates the glass into two size fractions. 
Larger pieces of glass will be recycled into new bottles and jars. Small pieces are crushed to make glass sand. The glass passes through an air classifier, which works like a vacuum cleaner, cleaning the glass by sucking up small pieces of paper like labels and removing any additional paper from the glass stream. The glass is stored in bunkers until transported to various suppliers to be recycled into bottles and jars. The glass sand can be used in road base, pool filters and drainage materials. Back at the sorting screens, the steel cans, aluminium cans and plastic bottles and containers travel through a triple bounce machine. This machine removes any remaining paper or cardboard that may still be mixed in with the recycling by carrying these lighter items over the top conveyors. Heavy items like cans, bottles and containers tumble back down and fall off at the bottom. The remaining recycling items pass underneath an electromagnet used to separate steel cans from other containers. The magnet is strong enough to pull the steel cans up, against the pull of gravity and away from the aluminium and plastic items. Another air classifier is used to remove small paper from the plastic and aluminium before the containers pass under an optical sort unit. This uses near-infrared sensors and compressed air to auto-eject any small remaining pieces of paper. The plastics and aluminium then pass over another screen to segregate aluminium cans using a magnetic field called an eddy current. This current generates a secondary magnetic field in the aluminium that causes it to be pushed away from the plastic items, completing the sorting process. The steel, aluminium and plastic items are stored in separate hoppers until they are ready to be baled. The steel and aluminium are taken to metal recycling operations, where they are melted and repurposed into new metal items mostly food and drink packaging cans. The plastics can be recycled into wheelie bins, furniture, carpet and of course water bottles. There are many benefits to recycling so we should all get in on the action. The most obvious benefit is the space saved at landfill sites. In one year over 105,000 cubic meters of landfill can be saved as a result of recycling on the central coast. But there are other benefits to recycling items rather than making them from brand new raw materials. In one year, almost 20,000 tonnes of greenhouse gases will be reduced, the equivalent of removing 4,582 cars from the roads. Enough power can be saved to power nearly 30,000 homes for a year, and the equivalent of 253 Olympic pools of water can be saved. Everyone can contribute in the quest to sustain our environment for future generations.